In a similar fashion, when you suffer a loss, people are divided into two categories. At times, the loss would actually make people closer to Allah. That is a gift of Allah. Any loss that brings you closer to Allah is not a loss. It is a gain. Even if that loss lasts your entire lifetime, in the hereafter when you meet with Allah, you will have achieved the everlasting bliss of Jannatul Firdaus. My beloved brothers, my sisters, there are some from amongst us whom when they suffer a loss, they turn to haram, they turn to intoxicants, they turn to that which is in disobedience of Allah. Don't let that happen. Whether it is suffering a loss in your family, in your social circles, in your authority, or in your wealth, in your health. When you suffer a loss as a believer, come closer to Allah. One might ask, how long should I bear patience? My brothers and sisters, bear patience for as long as it takes. No problem. Are you not a believer? إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرًا بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Allah says, Allah recompenses those who bear patience unlimitedly, without an account, without a limit. Imagine someone says, I'm going to give you unlimited. What do you want? What do you want? No matter what you say, you can continue to ask. That is the reward of the one who bears patience. It is said that the one who is sick and ill, when he or she bears patience for the sake of Allah, when they see the reward of the sabr, that Allah chose them to go through on the day of judgment, they will have hoped that they remained sick and ill for longer so that they could have a bigger reward. Imagine when you are bearing patience, doing nothing but bearing patience. It is so tough that Allah Almighty gives you a reward only on that condition. You are earning a reward only because you are bearing patience. So tune yourselves to come closer to Allah as the days pass. May Allah Almighty grant us from His goodness.